Guys, good morning. Just on our way to the airport now. Um, we're going to Switzerland today. story uh, like I'm gonna try and do it on the way back like and I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for it but I'm gonna take the risk. I tried to put my camera through like the machine you know like um what's it called like the, bag the baggage checking machine yeah, yeah, so scans your bag I like these ones they look kind of like camo yeah, but are they always gonna be in style? the thing about sunglasses is yeah like I, I was advised by shout out to Hannah from Top Deck um, she told me be like if you've got like a round head you should get square glasses if you've got a square head you should get round glasses but I don't know what kind of head I've got so you guys can tell Please me, seat me. What no. kind of head do you need for those glasses? Because they're like head. rectangular and I stuff. Have a big head. But anyways, yeah, I tried to put my camera through the X-ray machine, you know, to get like some cool like angles, yeah. And the uh, security guard came straight up to me. She's like, "Hey, what are you doing? What is this camera on for? Going through the machine?" And I was like, uh, "Accident, accident." So yeah, on the way back. I was yeah, she was not happy. She was like, "What's what you yeah. doing?" Yeah, airport stuff are so stressy, man. Like, just chill, bro. Steve, it's like. Really, really early as well, and they're still so stressful. But safety first, I suppose. Like, but I'm just doing it for the vlog, nothing else, just merely YouTube purposes. So, we're just at uh, still in World Duty Free, looking around. Um, Layla's stuck in the benefit cosmetics out, and like, even though I'm a guy, I still think like the packaging is quite cool. So, might as well just get it on vlog. I'm sure Layla's been to the store like a couple of hundred thousand times, yeah, but it just makes me laugh every time I see this brand. Check this girl's eyebrow. Example. Come on, man. I don't know if it's like a gorilla doing something. It's kind of like how I would do uh, makeup. If my friend Jenny, shout out Juicy J uh, in LA, she basically recommended like a video I should put on the channel and uh, it's about like travel essentials and stuff like that. So yeah, I've got like, I'm standing literally in the travel aisle now. So I'm just thinking like, really and truly, this is just like a bunch of travel essentials. You can pick them up in World Duty Free. It's not my travel essentials. Um, it's just stuff like that I would recommend you get. I don't really mess with the pillows and stuff. They're not that essential. Socks either but things like this I'll probably cover on the travel essential definitely those power pack chargers okay so I'm not really that much of like a beauty vlogger or vlogger or whatever you want to call it but I know my stuff when it comes to smelling good yeah right Layla I don't I just know yes I do man I, the, thing the thing is, is this I is this, this is such you. an underrated aftershave for the guys who know right? for him yeah so guys like him Go oh no that's michael, michael Kors. Kors. come on man we don't do that <laughs> that's michael Kors, man over there that's for some other type of guy so basically this is the full collection and out of these i like the indonesian oud that one's nice and florentine iris this is the fit my favorite one if you want to know how kel smells it's he something smells like, like that like this one is insane like one. look you, you know it's good because it's empty and the rest of them no nah, i definitely don't i have got this one but I don't smell like it. I only bought it for the, just to have the full collection. In fact, maybe you should go and get those ones because that's. Like, you bought it for me. Yes, I did. My sister bought it for me. Crazy. She wanted me to smell good. <laughs> maybe she was like picking a sign, like, oh, you don't smell good. So yeah, maybe I, need I was to, trying to hit something. Yeah, you don't smell good anymore, so I need to get you a. Um, aftershave. The second perfume or aftershave that is lit is this one Santal Blush, Tom Ford. Guys, right, what's your favorite Tom Ford on the vlog below? But yeah, that's actually my favorite. Okay. Layla's getting fed up. What's the matter with you? Do you like to shop? What type of girl doesn't like to shop for perfume? You know what it is? I'm still jet lagged from, from Orlando. Save it. Save all of that jet lag moaning. What did you get? Yash. Yash. Yash, the Mac lipstick. Is it good? It's awesome. It's so good. Everyone always asks about different your lipstick, lipstick on lipstick. vlog. Yash from, from Mac. business account on Instagram. Yeah. So anyways, I've got uh, salmon and eggs. Layla's got a croissant. Okay guys, so we just arrived in Zurich now. Um, just being greeted, collected our luggage and stuff. And the weather here is really nice. 
can't wait to get back to the hotel, well, to get to the hotel even, and just like relax a bit. Um, I've had like a really long night. Layla literally just traveled in yesterday and we're going away the next day. It looks like you can rent bikes, so you guys know from Ibiza, I'm on the bike life, so probably gonna get a couple of bikes. But yeah, we've arrived. We're at the Atlantis now. Layla is just hey awaiting, some taking some photos. She's just dying to go to, um, are you, are you more like hungry? Okay, beautiful. let me show you guys the rest of the Yeah, this is the hotel we're at. Atlantis. Atlantis, and we have arrived. We just like learned some stuff on the way here about the hotel, which is pretty interesting. I can't wait to check it out. Apparently, like two famous <laughs> architects, like a famous couple from um, Switzerland, designed parts of the hotel before it got taken over, and like parts are listed. So you guys know I'm really big on my architecture and stuff. So I'll try and find out these spots. Thank you very much. Welcome. Just got my refreshment towel. Nothing Layla. better than a cold towel, like when you just arrive somewhere after a flight. Yeah, you're looking kind of sweaty. Do you want to? <laughs> Guys, please remember I travelled from to? Orlando, then I went to London, then I came to Zurich, so I'm like looking okay. super biased. You're right a, yeah, you're allowed to look like that, that's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I was saying, there's like really some cool parts that are like listed, Ooh, what is that? famous like oh, Danish oh, kind of architecture oh, style. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try and check it out, get it on the vlog for you guys, but already just like aesthetics of the place is like really nice. So like they've got a really really cool feel to it. Like um, we'll give them a little yeah, tour. Yeah, I'll give you a tour after. Yeah. Let me just use my refreshments. What's it like? It's 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 like a lemongrass green tea. Yeah, it's really nice. they usually give you that like um, at hotels. It's like good for detox. Yeah, I that's why it's refreshing. It's, it's refreshing, not detox. That's the word. Just finished eating and stuff, and I'm gonna go downstairs now and meet later. I'm thinking, shall I go f do the stairs or shall I do the lift? Don't know how I'm feeling today. I'll do the stairs. Look really cool. My room's really nice. I'll probably do a tour of it later. Um, I want to see if Layla's room's as good as mine. Okay, so I've just come into Layla's room, yeah, and I'm, I'm so glad that I'm not in your. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad we're not sharing a room because look, she's messed up her room already. How long have you been in there? Like two seconds. Look, there's things Five all on minutes. the chair. She's just plonked all these magazines here. All of this rubbish. I'm putting them shoes on now, though. Look, what are these? They're my flip flops on the floor, floor, man. Like, come on. What else have you done? Nothing. Look, there's Converse shoes there. on the carpet. Oh my god. What well, all things all charging? Wires everywhere. Like, oh, come you're on, making man. it sound a mess. Come on. Come on, don't be silly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. this hotel has to be one of the favourites that I've stayed in so far this year. Mm. They have complimentary mini bar and there's the drinks there. And they also have a complimentary. Did she show you this coffee machine there? Yeah. With complimentary treats. Um, I seen these and I was like, yeah, Kel's gonna love them. They're like salted peanuts or something. No, you're not taking so it. From my room, I'm at your chocolate on the side, Swiss Leave chocolates. Take them to my room. Pillows, extra pillows. No, from my room. Stop I'm it. I'm you're the one. So hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, back in my room now, and I figured I'd just give you guys like a quick tour before. Um, I'm actually not a messy person, so I doubt I'll mess it up. Like I'm not like Layla, on the other hand, but. It probably will get kind of. Um, it's already actually started to get to the comfortable level. Like I put my laptop out, playing some music, like unpack some stuff. Like probably won't unpack everything, but um, yeah, I'll give you guys like a tour. So we're staying at Atlantis. Um, I'll link a website below so you guys can like see if you like the hotel. Then maybe you guys can come check it out yourself. Like so far, so good. It's my first time ever at this hotel, and it's been amazing so far. Uh, the room's insane, um, so yeah, let me just kick off the tour. <laughs> when you come in, you've got like a touchscreen pad here, you put your card in, pretty basic, but cool design on this one. And yeah, hallway, mirror here, and you've got like a bathroom area, shower room even, bath. So yeah, it's pretty big, nice white marble feel to it. Shampoo, tissues, towels. This is mine, wash bag, some cups, walk-in shower with um, a raindrop shower head, toilet area there. And then there's this like living room area over here. Got like a sofa, TV up there, I'm just playing my music. Um, Swiss, Switzerland, so obviously, 
you got to have Swiss chocolates when you're in Switzerland. Uh, I'm sure they taste great. Like I've not had any, I've just ate, uh, but I'll probably have them later on. And uh, yeah, that's the living room area. Um, they give you like a Bose speaker in your room, which is pretty cool. So I'm just like playing some music. Tomorrow's meant to be like really, really hot. So it's just gonna be cool. I'll probably go there in the morning and do like some laps. So I bought these Nikes um, online just before I came. I thought it was pretty cool, like not seeing them before. Uh, they'll probably won't stay fresh for too long because I'm planning just to like bang them out in the gym. But uh, yeah, we're here for three days. So three pairs of trainers, as you'd expect. All breaking the rules with the Adidas ones, but oh well. So that's the living room area, and then you walk like from your living room into the bedroom. It's just like one big step. Now I'm in the bedroom. Um, I bought these in Wild Duty Free today. So I got the, I've actually got this one already. So it's nearly half done anyway, so it's a good investment to get another one. But um, the bigger bottle's actually good because they're like, double the price but you get three times as much i think these are like 30 ml and these are like 100 so pretty good so i got the mimosa and cardamom one the amber and patchouli so i got that one too the incense one so there you go the famous trio are back together pomegranate noir got a few more of these at home so i'm building up a nice little collection hopefully my house will look like the joe malone shop soon because i cannot think of anything better than my house looking like the joe malone shelf because man like everyone who knows about joe malone knows the products are amazing they smell great they're not too overpowering and man they make you smell like fresh and that's what we want to do we want to stay fresh so yeah that's that let me get back to the room so picked up those stuff in wild duty free um probably see it on my blog later on or something like that but yeah that's that uh you get a big double bed it's probably even bigger than a double bed that's like a king size bed uh, easily could fit like three people on there. They're like two double quilts and you can see they don't even cover half of it. So huge, huge, huge bed, bedside lamps. I really like the interior design, lots of like dark woods, light suede, different materials. So like the wallpaper's all like made of a material. It's really nice. And then over here, you've got like the reading, writing, working desk, the place where you take over the world. And it looks like, so yeah, finished. just editing up a vlog over there. All for you guys, trying to keep it active as much as I can. As you guys know, it's a busy time of year, moving and stuff like that. So trying to find the time is difficult, but Nice chilled weekend in Switzerland. Gonna find loads of time to edit some vlogs and stuff. So yeah, it should be some cool stuff going on the channel. And um, yeah, I'm gonna shout out Juicy J once again. Shouted you out when we was in um, the World Duty Free actually in the airport. Shout you out once again, cause she actually inspired me to do this video. She was like, hey, you guys do like loads of travel and it's really cool. Like, why don't you just like give some advice? Cause there's a bunch of other people on YouTube doing travel videos but they don't actually travel that often not that it's a competition but if it was i don't know man Layla would probably be winning because she's traveling like back to back insane this year and um man i'm trying to keep up with her so yeah we're gonna put like some travel tips like i packed some of the stuff in my case um things that i don't have i'll probably just mention it and then some things aren't stuff to pack it's just like general advice and stuff so these are things like i've learned along the way and if like you guys have any more advice that I miss out or Layla misses out then please just write in the comments below because like one of the actual tips I picked up from a YouTube comment I literally just bumped into Layla she's like down there um she just got into my room I hope it doesn't get messy now that I'm leaving I'm just looking like some angel walking down the, the corridor now but um yeah uh just on my way to the spa now to get a massage like i'm long overdue i haven't had one in like a couple of months so it should be nice okay so i'm just at the spa now about to go and get um, a massage and i keep seeing these like all around the hotel and they're really nice it's like a seashell um it looks like it's been painted gold on the inside but it's really nice and they just use them as fruit bowls <laughs> pretty cool I'm so massaged out, like I could easily just fall asleep here. Layla's over there. She's all massaged out. Um, I look like a ghost, like, cause it was so bright, like, like yeah. a little angel. Angel? <laughs> or like a demon child. <laughs> oh, do you know what, it was so embarrassing. I actually just like, I, I, when I was face down, yeah, I was breathe, I must've snored, like, oh. and I was like, 
<laughs> but then I didn't know because I was in that like state of limbo, you know, like when you're like half asleep but you don't know if you're awake. And I thought, did I just do that? Like, did I just? No, what I don't snore, me? so did I do that? But then she was like, she never actually even commented on it, so I don't know if I even snored it. I guess it's just between me, her, and God. So no, like... listen, you know when it was um, like the point where you, she was like, okay, massage is finished. Um, I'll leave you to get ready, and then I'll come back. So she said, I'm gonna leave you to get ready and come back. And then she went out the room and then I fell asleep and I looked at my my watch and I was in there sleeping for like 20 minutes and I was like, Oh my days. And I was like, I'm so sorry, I fell asleep. She was like, it's okay. Crazy. But yeah, um, so like I said earlier, we're gonna do like uh, travel essential stuff, like something a bit different on the vlog, but like um, it was recommended. So I figured we'd just put it out there. Uh, so yeah, probably not the best to do it looking like angels or is that cool? Nah, yeah, no, no, nah. Cool. Millions of people might see this if this gets really popular, so I don't want to be out there looking like a bed sheet. Okay, so back and um, changed and stuff, transformed. Layla's transformed as well. Like I know, it's right? Look, scary. this is nuts. This is nuts. Crazy. Right, where did Layla crazy. go? Wait, Layla's, Layla's dead. gone. Layla, Layla, Layla went died. home. So, like I said earlier, we'll be doing like a. a a different type of video today it's kind of about like travel essentials things that we think you guys should carry or you should think about carrying and um, yeah welcome to any suggestions from anybody who wants to like write something below like we're all out here to learn and stuff and like there's loads of people out there that have taught us stuff it'll be great to like read some more suggestions like in fact that's one of my favorite things on YouTube just like when I'm watching a video I like I like to like read the comments like I'm sure a lot of people does it starts like a discussion so hopefully we can start like quite a cool thread underneath this video and uh, yeah just remember to like share it and see what we can actually discover together another one that's how he says it don't play yourself so guys my favorite travel essential is my wi-fi device my portable wi-fi device because you never know the thing is that's so essential to it's have it's so internet. essential it's so essential and to you have realize internet. when you're like stranded in thailand yeah <laughs> And you, and you don't know how to get way. around. Yeah, exactly. This is a lifesaver. You can get them on a few different networks. My one is on free. Um, Spin it around. Yep, you can see it, Pretty guys. Cool. So mine's with free and it works worldwide. Slimline. It's slimline, it's easy to charge, and it charges with the same device. It's charged with the same. Um, it charges with the same wire that I use for my next one. Yeah, it's a micro USB, so they pretty much charge loads of different this things. This thing here is like literally my life. So look, you can see where I'm going with this. It's all about like staying connected. This is a portable phone charger. My one's from Skinny Dip and I love it because it's silver. It's like glitter, glittery silver, so I can see it when it's in my bag and it charges your phone. It's it's a Pretty really, cool. really good one. So I would recommend that as well. Portable phone charger. Yeah. my. I, I'm gonna come up with the hack now. So like, we've done a little bit of like, um, things that you should invest in uh, to help make your life easier while you're traveling. But I'm gonna come up with a travel hack because I'm going that one step further. You should invest in this, but this is also gonna save your life. And it's something that is so simple that we can all do it, but we just don't do it. Because at times when you're packing your bag and you're like running around on the last day trying to get those shoes, like you just, don't remember to pack this stuff. So yeah, we actually picked, I'm gonna do two, yeah, just like you did. So yeah. we actually picked this up in New York when we was like oh, in yeah, dire need of a plug and it's pretty sick. Yeah, it's by a company called Travel Smart. I think it's um, Con Air, so you can see it there. It's and it's pretty much thing. got like all of these different um, attachments. So you can have like a European, a uh, free pin like we use in the UK. It's got one down there. It's got a USB on the side and New Zealand um, America whatnot. So like the two pin South America It's like my favorite thing to do while I go traveling and like I always do it and um, This was recommended to me by My parents actually yeah, that's what I was and uh, yeah, this is a basically like an extension plug so instead of like investing in a whole bunch of um, you know those like small adapters that you can buy? Yeah. Instead of buying like a whole bunch of them and arguing with everybody, like you can just invest in one, like the, the, this Conair one, and then you can just literally plug in this three pin adapter oh to it. Oh my God, that was so embarrassing. Whatever. I was just posing in the mirror, like pounding my lips like this. 
And yeah. then I just seen myself in like the back reflection. Click, yeah. You just look I've so uncool. I played myself. To I look so uncool. To all the cool people out there, you just look so uncool. So yeah, you could just do that. So that's gonna like save you and like give you like lots of access. Kind of touching on the aspect of charging. Okay. If you don't have one oh, yeah. of those like iPhone smart chargers, um, that one that Layla was showing from Skinny Dip, that uh, kind of glittery thing, yeah. which is um, awesome. Layla's choice, not mine. Uh, you could also opt for something that has multiple purpose, like uh, we've got like a Beats Pill Plus, uh, which is great for playing music, pretty hard, um, hard wearing, like robust, I think the word is. And uh, yeah, it also comes with like an out port on the back, so you can literally like charge your phone from your Beats Pill Plus. Uh, a lot of people probably don't know that, but it's got like a USB charge point on the back and it works. So, so I've, multiple times I've actually used this to charge my phone. It's awesome, go and check it out. Um, this is what it looks like. Yeah, it's really, really good. And the music quality on this is a big improvement from the Beats Pill small version. So guys, next up is like something you must have, especially if you are clumsy like me and you're always forgetful. This is my passport clutch bag. It's from a company called Kiki K. So I'll show you that there. So it's from a brand called Kiki K, as you can see just there. And it has so many essential compartments in it. So let me just give you a quick little look. So it's like a clutch bag. So it's like a clutch bag. When you open it up, it has a tickets compartment, passport and other. So for example, that's all my tickets from my recent trips. There's mine and Cal's passport. And then there's like receipts that I keep in the back. There's also a part for you to put coins in or anything else and credit cards or debit cards. Next one I'm gonna do is like something that's hated worldwide but I still use one it's a selfie stick this one's kind of hardcore um I bought it when we was in Thailand and it's like that's the best one we have it's not used for like hitting anyone I don't know why I just done that but it probably could do some damage if you did want to hit somebody with it not that I'm condoning that because you will get arrested and be staying in a cell on holiday and no one wants to do that still dancing away yeah. okay so that's with the selfie stick on so much better in my opinion, like I, I would use it, but sometimes, like when I take it off, I just it feels forget like to put it's a it bit back too on. far away as well. Yeah, it, it feels like it's far away, but then it feels like it's great at the same so time. So, guys, if you like the stuff. selfie stick, like if you think this is cool, not thumbs up, just comment and let us know. Yeah, just say like selfie stick rocks or whatever. Now, the essential. When you wait, are traveling, this. when you are traveling, you're gonna want to have a good camera. Yeah. So. Go and Super invest in a good essential. one because like, yeah, the mobile cameras are great, but if you want to capture the moment and like really save your holiday memories, then I would recommend you go for a digital camera or a professional camera, semi-pro camera, if you have the muscles to carry it around all day. Mm -hmm. Got my KSI voice on. <laughs> Comedy Shorts Gamer here, joking. So yeah. This is the camera we use to vlog. A lot of people have actually asked it. I think I've commented sometimes and just said like, this is the one I use. Uh, so if you want to like start vlogging, go for this camera. Like I've done loads of trial and error. We bought like a bunch of brands. So Samsung, Sony's, Fuji films, like Polaroid, whatever. Everything. Every single vlogging camera you can imagine pretty much with a flip screen that the TV and ad said was gonna be like the best one going. And this. And we did trial and error, and then we came across this bad boy. So it's the Canon G7X, you can see there, and it's pretty, uh, we've actually got two, so I can actually vlog while and show you the other ones. This is our spare one, or Layla's one, so when she goes mm -hmm. traveling, she's that, I use this one. It was recommended by one of Layla's friends, um, which one was it? Emily Cannon, she actually has a YouTube yeah, channel, Emily so go Cannon. check her out. Um, yeah, so check out her channel if you want to check it out. Like, Layla can link it below. She does, like, also vlogs and her boyfriend as well. Like, I am actually a uh, subscriber to their channel and their vlogs are pretty good. So yes. if you want to go and check them out, uh, Jake and Emily, go and check out their channel. Yeah. Um, second, so this is, like, our other camera that we use. It's this is actually camera. my, this is, like, my baby. I love this camera so much. It's the Canon 5D Mark III. And actually, Kel was the one that recommended that I get this. He helped me choose my lens as well. I've got a 1.2... You're like just nodding, like you're like, yeah. ah. I got a 1.250 mm lens and it's just absolutely amazing. I love it so much. If it's you really want to, it's a big investment yeah. um, for if somebody who just wants it for traveling, but it's going to obviously enhance your memories, so enhance good. your experiences. And to be honest, like 
it's a pretty high profile lens like a lot it's pretty known in the industry it is amazing and, uh, this camera is camera speaks for itself everyone knows about the 5d or the 6d oh. or the 7d 5d mark 3 is the best um in my humble opinion you guys can uh, debate that below when you're traveling suitcases are like a huge thing especially if you're going to countries like um i don't know where like People. Yeah, okay, so basically, if you're going to, you're Brazil, going to, go to yeah. Me if you're going to Mexico, Mex if you're going to Mexico, yeah, or and, you're going, or to, you're going to like, um, uh, it can happen anywhere. If you're going to anywhere where there's the chance of smuggling um, drugs or whatever through your suitcase or narcotics, or because it happens to a lot of people, so weapons, anything that you don't want in your suitcase that you don't want to be liable for, or whatever, you can um, buy these new cases now. They've got like a zip wet lock. This is, is not spawned, by the way. <laughs> let's just let's yeah, get no that out of the way. This isn't spawned. In fact, Layla is really big on this whole, yeah, um, I'm huge thing. on this. Yeah. She locks it even like when she goes like on the train so she just really is into this a bit too much because there's you can look online like your normal suitcase with just a regular like ykk zip or whatever it's called yeah you can actually just pop that open with a pen and it would be unnoticeable even mm -hmm. if you have a padlock on it you can push a pen through it you can open then zip it, it back up put your stuff inside it and then you can just close it back up it's, yeah so it's really so, to me this is like a huge thing so you might think that you're safe with a padlock but no, you're, you're really probably not. not that safe in actual fact so something like this is a lot better so if you look at it it's not like a normal zip it's um it, you can see it's like a waterproof zip. yeah so it, there's it, it no way looks, of getting it, in it, it almost like you looks can't back get to the front in it. almost yeah, yeah so when you zip it up it goes there you type in your pin whatever your pin is you lock it and then there's no way that anyone can get into the suitcase yeah save you from a lot of time in jail which you don't oh, need to yeah and it has four wheels so you just like it walks along with you rather yeah than i think it. i think four wheel suitcases is just like Genius. a standard yeah. right now like you don't want to be doing nobody's got time well, for like, yeah. dragging a suitcase yeah and make sure they all match as well like uh, a lot it's of people key. like make major a, key. yeah ma matching is a major key and like just taking pride in your suitcases is a major key like but today we seen this guy so Kel's always said to me oh we should you should stick stickers on your suitcase and I was like no like am I five and then today this guy in the airport when we was picking up our suitcase he had a, a Ramoa he had a Ramoa suitcase which is absolutely incredible like they're just so beautiful I think we should get some and um he had stickers all over it it was silver with like van sticker like supreme. New York sticker supreme everything on it and it yes, looks so cool and it looks so cool and man i didn't expect I'm probably it to gonna be end the person up having that the exact it up, same though. suitcase uh, when i build it up but i was thinking more like countries you visited so like yeah. every place you go you buy a sticker and you can just and the guy it. that picked it up he was like in a suit i just really didn't expect it i thought it was going to be like a young teenager Skateboard or something yeah guy, but it wasn't it was uh look the suited guys know what it is yeah they know how you to know have what fun. it is but one really good piece of advice that um, we was actually recommended on a youtube video it happened i said it earlier i'm just going to elaborate on it now um so yeah when you like usually come out of an airport and you jump in a taxi or you go anywhere you could even be on your holiday and like you could even be going home like. you could be yeah you could be doing anything but you get into like a taxi like a lot of times like the taxi drivers will like ask you questions and like some of them are friendly some of them are in fact majority of them are friendly but yeah. remember yeah that you're a tourist and that a taxi driver will ask you hey is it your first time in town and if you do what all tourists do and say yes it is my first time then most likely they will take you the long way around and the and price goes up the price will go up and you will just be stuck in the middle so the best thing for you it's to happened do, to me i'm not gonna lie it's happened to me yeah the best thing for you times. to do is just say um no i've been here before no i've been here before one of the worst things yeah that i experienced was in rome and i remember like we was paying for taxis yes. all the time yeah and then like we literally found out one day when we walked back to the apartment from like the Colosseum, the um, hotel from the Colosseum, we found out like that we literally live like two minutes from the Colosseum by walking. And like, we was literally going on like 20 minute taxi drives like every single day. Like, I don't know where the so dude was silly. taking us yet, yeah, but it's crazy. But the thing is, it's just rookie moves, right? And it's like, you, you're you gonna learn the hard way or you're gonna learn from this video. Cool, so we're just on our way now. I just wanna give you guys a look on the car. So they drop you around in Range Rover, Vogue's. Lately, you gonna drive? No. Oh. Okay, so I'm so hungry. We're just gonna head off Do to you know White Elephant. White Elephant. Excuse me, I'm sleeping for you before. I left my phone in the room. 
I'm still actually trying to find it, but I know it's not in here. So Cal's kindly gone upstairs to get it for me. So silly, like I'm always just so forgetful. Like I forget everything all the time. So thank you, Cal, for going to Cal's out when you watch this video. Um, I've just been looking outside and they have these beautiful, they're like turquoise um, ambient lights. They remind me quite like a spaceship. Next stop, White Elephant. Let's do this. Some big lion. Those outside are the transport. Okay, so we're back at the hotel. Uh, those outside were the transfer cars. Um, really cool to actually see a hotel use Range Rovers. I'm so full right now. I'm just gonna like get into bed and sleep um, but yeah thanks for watching today's vlog guys and I'll catch you in tomorrow's peace you okay yeah yeah and what's my name and then this is so it doesn't even make sense it's not even like an outfit it's just like crazy